Hello everyone. So what we'll be looking at would be the structure, anatomy and physiology of livestock. This is found in section C of your agricultural science syllabus. So moving on now, we'll be looking at the digestive system of non-ruminants and the digestive system of ruminants. Two examples of non-ruminants that I have here would be poultry and pigs. So we have a diagram here that uh, is a typical example of a board of a chicken. So we're going to quickly go through the different structures. You need to be able to identify these structures. So we have the beak, the esophagus, the crop, the proventriculus, the gizzard, the small intestine, the liver, the gallbladder, the large intestine, cloaca, the rectum and the cecum. So this here is showing the different structures and the function of the different structures and we will quickly go through each one of them. Firstly the beak. The beak is simply used to take in or ingest the food that the animal will consume. It enters into the mouth um, the animal will swallow the food using the mouth, but there is no chewing. So mechanical digestion does not really occur in the mouth because there is no teeth present. So no sort of digestion really occurs in the mouth. The mouth is simply to help ingest the food. Next, the food enters into the esophagus. The esophagus is a tube and that tube will carry the food using the, um, the process of peristalsis to carry it down into the crop. So the food will be temporarily stored in the crop. The crop is a large storage area and it's often considered to be part of the esophagus. So in the crop, the food is moistened. There's some amylase that is present here. So small amount of digestion may occur in the crop. After the food is in the crop, it moves down into the proventriculus. And in this part, it also secretes some enzymes and uh, the food is stored for a period of time. The food then moves to the gizzard and this is, a, this is the muscular part of the stomach and it contains small stones. So inside of the gizzard we have small stones and those stones will help to break down the food that the animal consumes. The liver, this liver just like in mammals, the liver makes the bile, it secretes the bile and the bile is used in digestion of fats. The purpose of the bile is to break down the fat into smaller and smaller pieces and that allow the enzyme to then work on the, on the fat and digest the fat into the fatty acids and glycerol. Next structure we have here is the ileum and the ileum produce the remaining digestive enzymes that are needed to digest the carbohydrates, the fats and the proteins and then when they are finally digested into the smallest unit then they are absorbed to the walls of the ileum. Then we have the cecum. There are usually two in, the, in, in poultry and some of the digestion occur here, limited amount of digestion. The body does not release enzymes that can digest cellulose. However, inside of this structure, we have microorganisms. And the microorganisms have the ability to digest some amount of cellulose. Next, we have the rectum. And the rectum is where water is absorbed from the feces. And the remaining feces is then expelled through the cloaca. Mm -hmm.